Today, I've shared with you a recipe that has been forgotten for so many years. The eel noodle soup. Eel is also called unagi in Japanese, very popular in a lot of Asian cuisines. You can find it in most Asian supermarkets. The ingredients in this soup are simple, and the recipe is not complicated at all. It just takes some time to prepare. For me, the soup is full of delicious memories. When I was young, my dad often made this soup, but then he was too busy to cook, so it's been forgotten for so long. I was reminded of this delicious food by a unagi picture online. I was drooling over it. So, I bought the ingredients and hope to share with you. If you like my video today, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe and share my channel. Your support is a big encouragement to me to share more yummy food videos. Let's get started. Here I have half pound of eels, two batches of vermicelli, bun si in Chinese. It's a kind of glass noodles made out of beans, so it's very healthy. A couple of spices to bring out the aroma of the soup. Shallots, green onion, dry tangerine peel, garlic, ginger. I also got carrot celeries to go with the noodle. Have them all cut to threads. Six dry mushrooms, two dry scallops. I will cut them too. Two eggs and a piece of smoked ham. Now let's finish the rest of the prep work. For dry scallops and mushrooms, I add a little water and they will steam cook for 20 minutes. So now they are very soft. The dry scallops can be shred by hand. Here you go. The mushroom is a little bit too thick, so I have to cut it in half and then thread it. That's it. And here's the ham. I want to finally cut the ingredients so the flavors of these ingredients can mix together better. That will make the soup more delicious. Okay, now let's see how to prepare the eel. The eel I bought has been processed. Boil a pot of water. Put the eel in, boil it for a minute or two. Do not overcook it. Pick it up right away and put it into cold water to cool it down. That way, the eel is not going to be overcooked. You can pick it up when it's cooled down. Carefully tear it off along the lines of the meat of the eel. Throw away the remaining bones. Then add seasonings to marinate the eel meat. Chicken essence, sugar, cooking wine, cornstarch. Add a few pieces of shallots, ginger, tangerine peels. Also add a teaspoon of oil, teaspoon of soy sauce. Mix it well, set the side. Pan fry the eggs like omelette and then cut them to threads. Now all the ingredients are ready. We are ready to cook the glass noodle eel soup. Yay! First, put oil in the pot and saute ginger and garlic. Add carrots and celery. Stir fry for a minute. Then put in the dry scallion and the mushrooms. Continue to saute for two minutes. Stir well. Add water. I add a total of three cups. It will be about six big bowls in total, including the ingredients. So when you cook, just make sure everyone in your family get one bowl. Just the right amount you can finish on the same day. Leftover doesn't taste as well the next day. When the water is boiled, put the glass noodle in. Before I cook, the glass noodle was soaked in water for an hour. It's very soft now, so it can be done very quickly. When the water is boiled again, put in the eel the smoked ham and eggs. Stir well. I prepare a small bowl of cornstarch mix. It contains cornstarch and tapioca flour, half each. Don't pour it all in at once. Do it slowly, stirring while pouring. Stop when the thickness is the way you like. Taste it and add some salt if needed. Finally, add the rest of the shallots and green onions. 
Now it's ready to serve. You can add a little pepper when you serve. This glass noodle eel soup is so colorful, aromatic, and tasty. With a lot of vegetables, it's not greasy or fishy at all. I finished two bowls right away. Now I'm feeling so satisfied. Alrighty, that's all I have for today. Chinese New Year is coming soon. I hope to bring you a little joy and deliciousness. I wish you and your family a peaceful, healthy, and happy New Year. Next time, I will share with you another Chinese New Year gourmet dish. Stay tuned. See you.